Welcome to our podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore how a sunspot is known for powerful auroras and solar storms. The major sunspot, AR36664, which created powerful solar explosions resulting in widespread auroras recently, has now rotated back on the surface of the sun and already unleashed an X-class flare early Monday. The X flares are the strongest classification of flares. As per the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's Space Weather Prediction Center, the flare that they observed on Monday was X2.8. It was found off the southeast limb of the sun. The higher the number of these flares, the stronger the intensity of the flare will be, which can cause radio and other communication blackouts on Earth. The source of the May 10th solar superstorm that generated historic auroras in all 50 U.S. states for the first time in decades was also generated from sunspot AR36664. It was more directly aimed at Earth in early May. As we are aware, the sun rotates on its axis like Earth does. Therefore, the sunspot AR36664 has spent the past few weeks on the far side of the sun that faces away from our planet. But it is just now rotating back into view from our viewpoint. However, the strength of a flare is just one of the many factors that influence how solar unrest impacts systems on our planet. Aurora and disruptions to electrical systems are actually more closely related to coronal mass ejections, which are eruptions of charged particles that can take a few days to reach Earth. CMEs are also directional, so when one is aimed from a sunspot that is more directly aimed at Earth, it is more likely to result in stronger impacts. It looks like AR3664 still has some energy left after its travels, and another sunspot, AR3691, is also growing and developing X-flare potential as its firing line approaches Earth. All these factors could result in the same phenomenon as the one we saw on May 10th. Though no official forecasts have been made yet, the sun changes very quickly. We can simply observe it closely and can learn a lot about what's about to come. Also, as this is the year of the solar cycle, the sun is at its peak activity and Monday's X-flare can turn into a reality. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.